Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here at Kamada Joe, hanging out with my good friends at ATBBQ.com. Uh, today I want to do a quick fire recipe with you, one of my favorites. This is actually Chipotle Shrimp Tacos. Let's get into the action. Our Kamada Joe Classic 3 is climbing to a temperature of 500 degree Fahrenheit. So while that's climbing, let's go ahead and fabricate some of our vegetables. Uh, just some thin sliced onions and Judging by the size of our pan here, that's gonna be enough. So let's go ahead and transfer the onions to the pan. And let's go for cabbage. Don't slice it too thin though. We still want a little textural contrast. So that's exactly what we're looking for there. And we'll just spread that with the onions on the bottom of our pan. A little bit of oil here, not too much. And let's go ahead and take this onto our 500 degree grill and let it kind of saute up for a couple minutes. Slide it right there on our direct grill, right over the heat. Close the dome so it picks up a little of that charcoal flavor and let's go fabricate the shrimp. Got a handful of 2125 shrimp here and we're just gonna devein them. I like to put a little positive pressure with three fingers or so and then run that knife right down the back. That's gonna open that up and if there's any sand vein in there, we'll be able to get it out. And I like the presentation as it cooks, it kind of flares out. Shrimp back in the bowl. A little chipotle and adobo. And we're just gonna put that nicely mixed over the top. Let's head on over to our grill and see if we're ready to add them to the pan. That's what we wanna see. Just getting activated a little bit and using that natural lump charcoal as our secret ingredient. Now right on top of that cabbage and onion mixture goes our chipotle marinated shrimp. Spread it out for even cooking. And lid back down. While we're at it, we're gonna make a little avocado crema for the top of our taco. And we're gonna grill 50% of our avocados. So we'll take this side and put it face down on that grill grate and that's gonna give us a nice charred flavor in our garnish. Looking good, we'll just stir everything up. A little addition of some fresh squeezed lime juice to brighten things up. Let's go on with a little bit of eight second ride just to pronounce those flavors. Oh man. And that's our filling. So let's walk that on over, check our avocados. I know that looks like a lot of char, but when we blend it up, it's just gonna be wonderful flavor. Let's continue on that eight second ride theme and give this little crema a little pep in its step. Avocados and eight second ride are in the Vitamix food processor attachment. Let's start it up. Let's add a little heavy whipping cream. And a squeeze of lemon. Let's give it a taste. Check for consistency. That is perfect. Going to be a great garnish. Some fresh tortillas. We'll take a little bit of our mixture here. Right across the center. Bit of cotija cheese. Go on with a little of our avocado crema. And just a touch of fresh cilantro. That is stunning. Just a, just a quick, big, bold bite. I love these flavors. I love these textures. That's a Tuesday night meal. I mean, 30 minutes, donezo. So uh, folks, as I like to say, delicious doesn't have to be difficult. Cheers for joining us.